Hello, in this video, I would like to show you how to upgrade a uh, from old CCFL backlight lamp to a new UB54 series LED backlights. Uh, this is a 10.4 inch screen. Uh, it's made by Toshiba. The screen number is LTM10C273. This is a quite popular screen. This is screens also similar. Uh, not similar, it's the exact same like LTM10. C209 and LTM 10C210. <clears throat> to remove the backlight lamp uh, assembly is quite easy. Uh, there's two screws on each plastic reflector. All you need to do is just unscrew and both sides, then you can take the uh, remove the um, reflector out. So let me put it this way. That's okay. All right, this way. This way is better. Okay. All right. So once out, and as you can see, this is the original. The original one's plastic, and it's kind of small. You can uh, mount the, uh, uh, a uh, UB54 series on the back. In this case, what we do is that I would suggest that directly mount it right there. Okay, and as I said, since this is plastic, we're gonna add only a uh, single strip on it. <coughs> I would suggest that, you know, if you have this screen, you wanna upgrade the LED light, uh, purchase the additional UB54 series heat sink, like this one. You can just press on light. And then what we do is that we're gonna make it like two. So make sure that the heat is spread much faster. That would be my suggestion. So. First, we're going to trim our appropriate length. Okay. And then we're going to remove this here. And then we're going to do the other one too. See this? Right? Okay. So. Here's what I, I usually suggest when you replace the screen, uh, uh, upgrade the LED light, you try to push all the way down or button, right? Push this one. But this one, this particular screen, I would suggest that you try to get as close as you could to the, the, uh, the plexiglass. The reason, let me show you over the reason because this is so thick, this is much wider, okay? So, um, you know, even though you mount it on the bottom, you don't see the light bright because as the metal frame is kind of wider compared with the laptop screen, it's much narrower. So anyway, um, this is how you mount it. You know, you mount it in between like this. And this case, because we don't use plastic reflectors, what I would suggest that you just add some silicones. One, two, three, three spots. And let it dry and secure it. I do not recommend you using a high glue because uh, when the LED strip gets a little bit hot, you know, of course it's not gonna melt down the high glue, but you can smell a high glue. So what I would suggest that just put some silicones. Okay, so let Here's a sample that I already prepared for these instructions. You see this? I want you to see this. You see? One, two, three. You see? One, two, three. Okay. So, after you add this glue and let the glue dry, not a, I mean, slate can, and after it dry, you just cover with the aluminum, a little bit wider aluminum. Okay, so this is a Toshiba screen LTM 10C270. It's exactly the same instruction, uh, uh, same frame, and same uh, uh, same structure as a Sanyong NRL75. Dash eight eight zero nine A dash one one four exactly same screen and uh, you know same mounting anyway so let's put it uh, let me show you how to do it just it's quite easy you just put the uh, oops oh made of chippy. See this? Am I? I'll fold it over. When it's done, we're going to repeat the other one. Oh, 
All right, peel it off. You could do this when you peel it. Kind of do like this. I'm not sure you can see on that. See, that's. I think that's much better. See. All right. Top. Bottom flip over. Of course, if you want, you can trim a little bit on both sides, but now it's done. Perfect. Let's test it. nice you don't see the darks on bottom you don't see the darks on the top thank you for watching